Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. It is modded in 135 scale and it copies railway non-brake flatbed 16.5 tons and in 135 scale it should be quite a handy accessory if you love to build some dioramas here just add some figures or maybe some vehicles and you will be good to go so this set should be already available we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and we are going to open it and take a look inside so first of all here we have a standard mini art sized box here you can see comparison with my hand on the side we have some information about the kit, nothing serious, I would say it's just a typical info. And on the other side we have several markings, so as you can see there are a lot of them, but of course you are not limited to only to this, you can choose something else if you have some reference photos or you have some ideas on what to paint on this railway flatbed. So this is a top opening box, here is what we have inside. Um, quite heavy box I would say, surprisingly for such simple kit. I mean it seems like a simple kit. Uh, here we have all frames packed into the same plastic bag, so be careful. I mean if you have a chance to open it and check all the frames for the uh, consistency or all parts, if they are safe, do it because otherwise you might end up with some um, really not that nice surprises. So just give me a second, I have to open it, it's a sealed plastic bag, so keep it in mind if you will be checking the sprues, you won't be able to open this plastic bag because it is sealed and I really doubt that some seller will let you open such plastic bag, but at least maybe you can take a look at the parts through this bag and determine if everything is fine. And of course I would like to remind you that we have the donate button on our website, so if you would like to help us and you really appreciate our um, video reviews, you want to see more, please donate to us so that we can grow our channel, we can improve our equipment, etc, etc. We can even buy some new kits which are not accessible to us without your help. So here, first of all, we have small decal sheet. This one comes from Decograph, let's zoom in a bit. And as you can see, manufacturer printed here all necessary symbols for several marking options. Some of them can be replicated with thin brush and white paint, so it is up to you if you would like to use this, or you would like to do some um, of the artwork, let's say. Next we have small envelope with mini art logo, so as usual we have P thread packed here, this one is quite small, just give me a second. So it is unpainted P thread, here we have several parts, and as I said, they're in, it is not that big, so be careful while assembling those parts on the plastic kit. Next, we have several identical frames, so those ones are obviously will be used um, for the railway section, because here we have the middle bars and we also have the rails themselves. And it's really cool addition because in some kits you won't even get such parts, here you get them as a standard out of the box inclusion. I really appreciate it and that will be handy for sure. In case you plan to build only this flatbed, you can display it on those rails and you will be good to go. Next we have another plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to those thin parts, actually there are two plastic frames of this type. Nothing special I would say in a good sense, molding quality looks fine and we can move on to the next type of spruce. So again two spruce, here we have wheels with on the leaf springs and why I'm a bit confused because I see two more plastic frames. So there are four wheels in total and all those wheels will go on your flatbed obviously. So just give me another moment, we move on to the next spruce. Here we have next type of the frames, again there are four of them because they will be installed from both sides of the flatbed. I will show you only one because parts are absolutely identical. So let's zoom in and here you can see those parts. Some of them will have to be glued out of two holes, you can see that we have guiding pins inside but molding quality should help with this um, process let's say and I don't think that it will be really difficult procedure so just Pay attention and you will be fine with those parts. Next we have another pair of spruce. 
These ones are side panels for the flatbed. As you can see, they carry absolutely identical parts. We have the wooden texture replication here as well, so I would recommend to paint um, with some weathering techniques in order to show that it's a uh, wooden panels and they get some weathering during use. Next we have this plastic sprue. I was just checking it a few seconds ago. Here we have more of various bars, various items here and again I do not see any broken elements here. You can check those parts from another side. Everything looks completely fine. Even though packaging was quite tight. I mean we saw it together. Next we go on with Actually, this sprue which we saw just a second ago, here is another one, so there are two of them included into this kit. And next we have another pair of sprue. That's really funny stuff with railway kits from Miniart because everything goes in pair. Here we have another pair, again identical parts. So here we have main frame, so you can see this large or long bar on the top. Also we have these four panels, we have these um, bumpers and various suspension elements as well. Everything looks fine and I can see that even on those parts, thin um, hooks, we have really small amount of attachment points so it should be really easy to separate it without damaging the part. Still, I remind that it is better to use the plastic saw instead of the plastic cutter with this plastic because otherwise you might end up with damaged parts and it will be really difficult to fix something. Now just give me a second I'm trying to fix the box. I know it's not the right time but I just hate when it lies broken. Okay, so here we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in form of typical mini art brochure. We have short list of the features so as you can see side uh, can be posed open or closed. Also we can install on the European or Russian railway gauge. We have workable wheels, footage parts, uh, decal sheets for 8 variants and here we have Russian gauge railway track included but you can buy the European one separately. It is sold as a single kit so if you would like to place it on this railway track you can get it separately from Inyard. Next we go on with uh, first three marking options. This one comes from 19, actually 1892, 1919. This one comes from the same period and this one comes from 1904-1905. It's a uh, um, Russian-Japanese war on the Transbaikal Railway. Here we have parts, map and some safety advices. Then we start with assembly process. As you can see everything begins with the main frame and you have to combine a lot of bars together. Then you have to install those diagonal bars as well. Here we continue with floor panels, the wheel axles and wheels. Here we install various P parts. That will be also quite a funny part. And next we continue with those bumpers. As you can see each one should be built out of three elements. Do not forget to sand this um, seam between two halves because otherwise it will be quite evident. And of course you will have to repeat all those steps from both sides so be ready for this. Everything is done twice in this kit but it is understandable I would say. Next we continue with railway gauge. So as you remember we have uh, small cut out of the gauge on which you will be able to place the uh, railway platform. I'm a bit confused because I'm looking at the assembly process so basically we align all those bars together then we place top part on them and then it will be pretty much done. So I would recommend maybe to get some wooden steel you would have to use some wooden uh, stand in order to replicate earth and this things embedded in earth, let's say, it will be even more impressive in my opinion. Here we continue with installation of the uh, chains and hooks. And as you remember chains were not included so you have to find it um, in your own supplies. Next we go on with five more marking options. So here we have mostly markings from 1915-1990s. Here we have also 1920s, that's a Polish option. 
Covers chart is given in several manufacturer's designations, so you will be able to find um, the manufacturer you usually use for your builds. And here you can see some other kits from this series. I mean, those ones might be handy for a nice diorama with railway track. So we have several gorges, we have also various um, semaphores, water cranes, poles, and of course we have tools and equipment and pedestrian bridge which is quite large in 135 scale that will be quite impressive once built. So as I said this set should be already available, you can get it on Modelimax website and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video do not forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today. Bye!